sol sol x into y square minus z square p plus y into z square minus x square q is equal to z into x square minus y square. So here, here capital P equal to this x into y square minus z square and capital Q is equal to y into z square minus x square and r is equal to z into x square minus y square. Therefore, our equation is a Lagrange equation PP plus QQ is equal to R4. Now, solution 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 Okay, so first we will write the auxiliary equation equation dx divided by x into y square minus z square equal to dy divided by y into z square minus x square which is equal to dz divided by z into x square minus y square. Now we will take a Lagrange multipliers taking multipliers 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z, then the fraction is equal to, then all fractions is equal to this equation number 1, 1 fractions in 1 is equal to 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz all divided by y square minus z square that means 1 by x into this will get cancelled plus y get cancelled so z square minus x square plus z get cancelled x square minus y square so this and this get cancelled everything will get cancelled so this is equal to 0 which implies which implies 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz is equal to 0. So every term is integrable. So if you integrate integrate we get we get integral 1 by x is log x plus integral 1 by y log y plus log z is equal to some constant log c1 which implies log x plus log y plus log z is log x log of x x y z which is equal to log c1 which implies if you take exponential on both sides if you take exponential on both sides you will get uh, you will get uh, you will get x y z is equal to c1 so we get one one equation now if i take a multipliers as x y z now next we will take taking multipliers taking multipliers x y z then we get we get then we get fraction is equal to that means our fraction one is equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz divided by okay well, we can check so here we are multiplying x y and here by z here by x here by y and here by z so x into 
so here you will get x square into x square into y square minus z square plus y square into z square minus x square plus z square into x square minus y square. So this is equal to this is equal to this is equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz divided by x square y square minus x square z square plus y square z square minus y square x square plus z square x square minus z square y square. Now x square y square is there and uh, y minus y square x both are get cancelled. Minus x square z square is there. Z square x square is there. This get cancelled. And these two get cancelled. So this becomes zero. Therefore we get we get x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to zero. Now integrating integrating on both sides on both sides. So if we integrate this you will get x square by two plus y square by two plus z dz if you integrate z square by two which is equal to some c star. If we multiply both sides by 2, you will get x square plus y square plus z square equal to some c1. The c1 is 2 c star. So this, I am taking c2. Okay. This, this, the solution, this the solution of PD is PD is phi of phi of what is first solution we get x y z is equal to that is here x y z equal to c1 so phi of x y z x y z and x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 0 so this is the required solution of the PD